One of the important properties of a mineral is its hardness. So some minerals are very soft, like talc. Some minerals are very hard, like diamond. So let's talk about how you determine the hardness. Uh, one quick little story that illustrates this well is uh, we have family dinner night every Thursday and my mother-in-law comes over and we sit at our wood table and she's very animated with her hands and she slams her hands down, drags it across the table and her ring has actually left a scratch on our table. Now my daughter, she's eight, she does the exact same thing. She's got her little plastic rings and when she does that, it doesn't cause a scratch. So what we would conclude is that my mother-in-law's rings are harder than the table because it scratched it. And then my daughter's rings are softer than the table because it didn't scratch it. So if we were to order the hardness, we would say my daughter's rings are the softest, the table is in the middle, my mother-in-law's rings are the hardest. So just a funny little story to illustrate that. All right, so let's talk about something called Mohs hardness scale. So the hardness scale actually rates items from one to 10, with one being the softest and 10 being the hardest. So diamond would be a 10, talc I talked about before would be a one. Um, glass is around a 5.5 for our purposes. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to use this idea that glass is a 5.5, and we're gonna take three minerals, A, B, and C, and we're going to try to use them to scratch this glass. So remember, our glass is a 5.5. Five. There we go. And we're going to take our sample A and we're going to scratch it. And let's say that uh, the A definitely scratches the glass. And so when it does that, we say, okay, A is greater than 5.5. Now let's take sample B and we're going to say, okay, sample B, we're going to try to scratch it. And we're going to say, oh, it doesn't scratch it. So now we know that B is going to be less than 5.5. And then we're gonna take sample C, and let's try to scratch that. So here we have sample C, and let's say it scratches the glass as well. So we know that it's greater than 5.5. So we know that A and C are the hardest, B is the softest. Now, if we wanted to, we could also use the glass to try to scratch the items, and we would know the glass would not scratch A or C, but it would scratch B because it's harder than B, right? Now let's take A and C. What if we need to know their relative hardnesses? What we would do is we would say, okay, let's see if A scratches C. So if I come over here and A scratches C, leaves a scratch on there, um, then we can confidently say that A is harder than C. So we can conclude A is the hardest, then C, then B, and that we can also say that A and C are both greater than 5.5 on our scale, and B is going to be less than 5.5 on our scale. Uh, one quick thing is when you are scratching minerals, you really want to make sure that you've actually made the scratch. And so what I mean by that is, let's say that I took a piece of chalk and I were to scratch my board, you might see that white powder and think, oh, it scratched the board, but it actually didn't. It just left the powder on there. So you really wanna make sure that when you scratch something that you can feel that actual scratch, that indentation.